Today I'm going to show you how to add Bluetooth to pretty much any old receiver or preamp that doesn't come with the Bluetooth feature. Let's get to it. If you've been following my videos, you've probably heard me make a few jokes about Bluetooth, but I've come to a realization. Bluetooth isn't going anywhere, at least not right now. We should be making the most of the tech that's available to us today, and Bluetooth definitely has a place at that table. So why add Bluetooth to your existing setup? Well, for one, it's like giving a new lease on life to your old sound system. It expands the capabilities of your gear and prolongs its life, saving you from dropping big buckaroonies on a total replacement. We all know why you really want Bluetooth though. We know. Convenience. You can send music or any type of audio straight from your modern devices, think smartphones, tablets, laptops, directly to your sound system wirelessly. You can control your music from anywhere within range without the clutter of additional wires. That's a win for many of us. Now let's touch on sound quality. Today's Bluetooth adapters, the ones that support advanced audio codecs, can sort of deliver a decently high quality sound. Sure, it's not quite at the level of true lossless audio, but let's be real, it's come a long way from where it started. Bluetooth is a budget-friendly way to literally bring your sound system into the 21st century. It keeps the cool charm of your old gear while adding some modern conveniences. All right, folks. I've got a couple of neat little devices to show you today, and I'm going to walk you through how to hook them up to your receiver. First up, we have this compact Logitech Bluetooth adapter. This little guy is perfect for those who don't need top tier audio quality, but still, definitely not top tier, but still want a decent setup for their bedroom or garage. If you're all about convenience over audio quality, this adapter is gonna be like your best friend. It pairs brilliantly with services like Spotify. It's got a built-in DAC, and you just need to connect it to your receiver using the provided RCA outputs and an RCA cable of your choice. I will drop a few budget-friendly cable options in the description for you. Now, just to go a little bit deeper on how to connect this to your receiver or AVR, all you have to do is take a pair of RCA cables just like these. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be putting some links in the description below. Match them up red and white. You connect the red one here, the white one there. That is the output to your receiver and you connect the other end to an input on your receiver. So let's say your receiver is super old, a CD input, tape input, anything that's an input will probably work. Just don't hook it up to like a phono input. Keep away from that. So that is how you fire this one up. And then all you're gonna do is connect the power adapter to the wall on this little Logitech thing and it could sit right on top of your receiver. Super small, super sleek, super easy. Now, our second contender is a bit more high end, right? This is the BLMU01 Pro by FX Audio. If you're going for this, I'd recommend using an optical or digital coax cable and running it through an external DAC for the best sound quality this little wonder can offer. From the external DAC, you then use your RCA cables to connect directly into your receiver. Now, there's a third option. Let's say you have something like this iFi Zen 1 signature. It's a DAC with built in Bluetooth, so you could basically just get this and forget everything I just said about the other devices. Plus it gives you the flexibility to connect other digital devices like CD players and music streamers directly here. The end result, a significantly better listening experience compared to using the internal DACs from cheaper components and sources. Now, I'm gonna be upfront with you. Wi-Fi does offer a much higher quality audio stream compared to Bluetooth due to its larger bandwidth. There are also a variety of apps and technologies such as Apple AirPlay, Google Cast, and Spotify Connect that allow you to stream music over Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth from you know your device to your sound system. This will yield way better quality than Bluetooth. The question is, that's my opinion, the question is, will it be enough of an improvement for you to even care? That's where this hobby becomes subjective, my friends. Thank you for joining me on this quick and easy tutorial. I love doing these quick and easy videos for you guys. I hope you got something from it. If you did, I would love for you to give the like button its hour of glory. To a New Yorker like you, a hero is some type of weird sandwich. Not some nut who takes on three tigers. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I will see you on the next one. Take care, my friends.